Hi, Michael Ramsey. And as we roll into fall recruitment, today we're going to talk about how to use Google to promote your pack, troop, crew, and ship. You know, Google's a powerful tool. Usually if you've navigated anywhere or looked anything up, you're probably using Google. As a matter of fact, Google has 67.5% of the U.S. search market and a total of 87.1% of the mobile search market. Here's an interesting fact for you. Anybody know what the most common search term on Google is right now? Well, I'll tell you, it's find blank, find something near me. And that's mostly because of the mobile devices, right? Find barbecue near me, find barbershop near me. In your council, you should go online and try find Cub Scouting near me. Here's an example of me trying this in my home council. Take a look at this. I did find Cub Scouting near me and Cub Scout Pack 321 shows up on the Google map. It's a good looking link. They've got pictures there. They've got ratings. They've got phone numbers. Um, they've got some people having conversations about the unit. They've got some stars. Looks pretty good. In that same listing though, was also this pack. I've covered up the names and the locations so uh, we don't embarrass anybody, but if you'll take a look at this, it doesn't have a meeting location, doesn't have an address, doesn't have a phone number. So if you're a millennial parent and you're looking for a unit to join, which one are you most likely to join? Is it going to be this one or something like this? I would contend that if you've got a great Google profile and you can be found on a map, they're probably going to join a unit like that. So today we're going to take a few minutes and talk about how to use search advertising on Google to promote your pack, troop, crew, or ship. So for example, I built a really a fake Cub Scout pack here in Texas. It's pack 1325. So I went into a tool called Google Sites and built, frankly, a website for my uh, make-believe pack so we could demonstrate and show you how this whole thing works. What's interesting about Google Sites is that once I had finished building my Google website for my, for my mythical pack, this window pops up. It tells me the name of the pack, gives me a URL, gives me a street address, has a place to add some additional information. But look at the bottom of this page. AdWords Express pops up. Once it's automatically built your site for you, it instantly says, hey, do you want to advertise your site? Get started. And it's already taken the information that I had put into Google Sites and it showed me what an ad might look like. It's so simple, it's so easy. Let me show you how it works. So when you click on Get Started, this window pops up. And it says, look, you can start advertising in three easy steps. Select your ad goal, we're gonna create your ad, and then we're gonna set a budget. And then you click Add and off you go. So let's take a look. Under Create Ad, it says pick a goal for your ad. Do you want people to call your business, visit your storefront, or take an action on your website? So you select one of those, and then it pulls up and says, where do you want to advertise? So for example, um, this would be the location of my mythical pack that I created. I wanna advertise near my business, so um, it drops a pin on this location. The amazing thing about this window is that it will let you dial in and dial out uh, geography. So you can dial this down smaller or even larger if you want. So when you get to this window, it says to find your product or service. It asks you what language do you want to advertise in? What product or service do you want to promote with this ad? I selected after school program just for demonstration purposes. And then it comes in and says, show your ad to people who are looking for. Now this is a place you put in keywords. We all know when we go into Google, it searches on specific keywords. So just for demonstration purposes, I put in camping, Cub Scouting, Scouting, you can put in as many as you want into this field. And then it comes back and says, here's what your ad is going to look like on a laptop or a desktop or on a mobile device. So in this particular case, Cub Scout Pack 1325, join the adventure. So I wrote a little copy to go in there on another window. Cub Scout Pack 1325 is where the adventure of scouting begins. Visit us today. It shows me what it's going to look like. It's pretty cool. It's automatic. It does it all for you, drops the copy in. So then it brings up a window that says set your budget. So just for demonstration purposes, I put in $150 maximum per month. And by the way, you don't pay that unless somebody clicks on your ad. It then tells you that's $4.93 on average per day. And then it gives you the estimated performance. So again, for demonstration purposes, I put in $50 per month. So that comes out to $1.64 on average per day. Now, just again, for demonstration purposes, if you wanted to spend $300 a month, it comes back and says, well, that's $9.87 per day on average. But look what that does to your estimated performance. It really kicks it up. I don't think you're probably going to do that for a Cub Scout pack, ship, crew. But think about this tool in terms of marketing perhaps a Boy Scout camp or some other type of event. Um, you can spend um, more in this space, and it really increases the impact that you're going to have. So once you're through with the budgeting process, it then brings up a dashboard that says, here's the location that you're going to be viewed. Here's a budget. Here's what your ad is going to look like. And here's an estimated performance based on what the budget that you've set. 
So there you go, it's easy. Google is a powerful tool, a really great way to get our message, to get our packs, troops, crews, and ships in front of parents today. And let's face it, when parents are looking for scouting, they're probably going to Google and are gonna search for find scouting near me. And if they do that, you'll be ready. So lots of great questions about the presentation and lots of great answers. If you go to the Membership Marketing Hub, which you can find at the top of the scouting wire and search for using social media, you'll come up with this presentation where we've got a full list of assets and resources that you can use to market scouting. Have a great fall.